If you haven't done so yet, please pause the video and try the question on your own before moving on. We can begin by drawing a picture. So here we have the player who's just standing here and we've denoted him with a P and then his opponent comes along and he's moving at a constant speed and he grabs the puck and begins to move away. Now we know that after three seconds the opponent is somewhere over here. We can actually calculate the displacement, that is how far has the opponent moved away from the player. Now we use this equation to calculate that displacement. We remember that the opponent was moving with a uniform speed. That means the acceleration was zero, which means we can cancel out this term of the equation. We would then plug in the initial velocity of the opponent as well as the three seconds for the time. And we can see that the displacement is 36 meters. So right now, the opponent is 36 meters ahead of the player. We will next list the values that we know for both the player and the opponent. So for the player, we know the initial velocity is zero, that he begins to accelerate at a rate of four meters per second squared. We will call his initial position zero. So this mark right here we'll call zero. And the final position of the player we do not know. For the opponent, we have an initial velocity of 12, an acceleration of zero, and an initial position of 36 meters, which we just figured out, and then the final position is unknown. Now, it turns out that an equation from kinematics will be helpful here. Your textbook probably writes delta x as being the displacement, but we can recall that a delta of any quantity is the final quantity minus the initial quantity. So we can actually replace delta x with xf minus x0. And what we can do with this equation is solve it for xf by adding this x0 over to the other side. So here we have an expression for the final position of a moving object. And the idea here is that in order to catch the opponent, the player and the opponent are going to have the same final position. That is a very important fact. We'll say that again. In order for the player to catch the opponent, the final positions of each will be the same. So what we're going to do is come up with an expression for the final position of the player as well as the opponent and then set them equal to each other using this formula here. So here is the expression for the final position of the player and then here is the final position of the opponent. Once again we're going to be setting those two expressions equal to each other. We can first simplify this equation by eliminating this term right here as well as that term and then this plus zero is irrelevant as well. We can also multiply the one half by the four. We're going to go ahead and subtract the 12t as well as the 36 over to the left side of the equation. If we wanted to, we could divide each term by two as well. And we have the dreaded quadratic equation because we have a t squared, so we're gonna to have to use the quadratic formula to solve for t. Notice that our a is equal to positive one, our b is negative six, and our c is negative 18. So we'll go ahead and set up the quadratic formula. Here is the setup right here. We'll come up here and we'll see that we get two answers. We get negative 2.2 seconds as well as positive 8.2 seconds. We cannot have a negative time, of course, so we will eliminate that. And this becomes the time that it takes for the player to catch up to the opponent. To solve part B, how far has that player traveled in 8.2 seconds, we can just go back to the kinematics formula. And the delta x represents the displacement, which is another word for how far something has traveled. So we can just plug in all the known values that we have listed here for the player. And when we crunch that down, we should get approximately 1.3 times 10 to the power of 2 meters. And that is indeed how far the player travels. Thanks for taking the time to watch the video. If you liked it, please subscribe to the channel so you could stay tuned for additional videos. Also, you are welcome to send in your own question to the email address shown on the screen.